after defining the angles whether it is positive or negative we define the trigonometric functions afresh they are sin theta cos theta tangent theta we will redefine them as far as new definitions go we have p is here the coordinates are x y theta lies in the first quadrant sin theta will be equal to y upon r if theta lies in the second quadrant this is r this is p x y sin theta will be equal to y upon r that is ordinate of p divided by op the radius of the circle cos theta will be equal to x upon r x upon r means abscissa of p abscissa of p divided by the radius of the circle tangent theta will be equal to y upon x that is ordinate of p divided by rate divided by the abscissa of p cot theta will be equal to x upon y that is the reciprocal of tangent theta secant theta will be the reciprocal of cos theta that is equal to r upon x cosec theta will be equal to r upon y that is the reciprocal of sin theta we can find out that cos theta and sin theta are the reciprocals of each other cos theta and secant theta are the reciprocals of each other tangent theta and cot theta are the reciprocals of each other whether theta lies in the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant or fourth quadrant